everybody, uh, welcome back. Sorry about the um, big delay between videos. But uh, yeah, today we are drawing the Mongolian death worm. Um, yeah, so as you all probably have guessed, Mongolian death worm lives in Mongolia, obviously. Um, in case you didn't know where that was, that's like a area like it's between Russia and China. It's pretty large actually. Um, so it lives more specifically in the Gobi Desert. Uh, and the um, the more isolated areas uh, of it. Uh, so, like, <laughs> so the Mongolian death death worm is actually a cryptid, which basically means that people aren't sure whether it exists or not so it's rather like the tales of things like bigfoot and the yeti um so like the mongolian death worms have many powers depending on which um place you find your information from like some people say that um, it can spit a highly corrosive acid. Um, other people say it can use a highly like electric pulse, like a uh, an electric eel would do. Um, yeah, most people say that touching it can cause paralysis or, in some cases, death. Yeah, you do not want to meet one of these. Just have some detail in the mouth. There we go. So, uh, like, the Mongolian death worm, uh, unlike some people you might think, um, it's actually more like about two feet long, roughly. So, yeah. Um, so several experiments have been conducted to see if like you can actually find one of these, the Mongolian death worm. Um, probably my most notable one would be, um, the one done by Ivan Makarei? Makarei? I'm not sure, I'm not sure how you say it, but basically that's my most notable one. And basically he used, like, sometimes small explosions and sometimes some, um, like little metal things called thumpers. Um, so, like, they would basically whack the ground multiple times and try and, like, simulate rain hitting the ground to get, um, the Mongolian death worm to surface. Um, unfortunately, these did not work, or maybe it's fortunately, considering the amount of abilities that these supposedly have. Um... Yeah, the thing when I read this was, that made it my most notable one, is that when I heard the word thumper, I immediately thought, is that, no, it's subnautica below zero. There's an item you can get to, that deters um, ice worms in the ice worm area, or like, it attracts ice worms more like, so, yeah, maybe that's an actual sciencey thing. So, uh, yeah, the in that investigation happened in, like, 1960s, like, 1650s kind of time, I think. Not, I can't remember, I can't remember. Okay. 
Oh wait, that's not the point, that's not the point. Um, but apparently it rarely comes to the surface. So it spends most of its time like underground in hiding. Uh, yeah, there's also a book that might have been inspired by the Mongolian deathworms, and it's called Dunes by Frank Herbert. I haven't read it, but apparently it has um, creatures like the Mongolian deathworm in it that are attracted to the surface with tremors. And I think it also takes place on a different planet, so, yeah. Um, the Mongolian deathworm first came to notice when a book was written by Roy Chapman Andrew in 1926. Um, I think it was called, like, On the Trail of Ancient Man, and it mentioned this. Um... Yeah, there was also a film called Mongolian Deathworm. Um, yeah, like apparently like the selling phrase thing, I had a look on Google Images like to find the poster. Uh, like the selling phrase thing, I'm not entirely sure on the science word for it, but it was, it was called, that it had death rises from deep below, which sort of makes sense since like I said before, they spend most of their time underground. So, um, yeah, pretty creepy. I think it was like a horror film or something, so do not watch it unless, like, I don't know what age rating it was. Look at the age rating first, but I'm expecting it to be like a 15 or something. Or like, at the very least, a 12. Uh, Oh yeah, so basically when a bunch of officials were asked about the Mongolian deathworm, they were all pretty convinced that it did exist, and when they were showed a type of Tata sandbow, they said that that was the creature that they had known, like, supposedly seen, so... That's probably what the actual creature was, like the actual Mongolian deathworm, a Tartar sand bow. That's a kind of snake, just in case you didn't know what a bow was. So, um, I... Okay, so yeah. Okay, we're just gonna like go over with this light pale color, and then we're gonna go over with some of this. Maybe we'll have like a couple of like, gold hints or something for shading. Okay, we're not gonna worry too much about shading with this first layer of color. I'm not gonna worry about that though. Um, color. I'm just gonna like add some of these gold or darker bands along the sides, you know, like. 
try and add a bit more interest. Here we go. There we go. I think this probably... Yeah, I think that's it. So, um... Yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed, then please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Um, yeah, I think I might like to see you all in the next one then. Um, bye. Have a nice day wherever you are. See ya.